Well, hello there, folks. This is Dream Bliss coming at you, and we have an adventure out of us. And I can't do the zoom button to emphasize. Anyway, we're going to be heading out to sea. Some things have changed in this world, and I will show them to you before we head out. Uh, basically, what's happened, I have gone ahead and edited all of the chunks around this little space where I currently reside and with MC Edit, and I've deleted them. Then I've rebuilt the world in Minecraft 1.18.6. So this is day 18 that we are starting of our 100 day challenge. And we want to go find a village. So we're going to get into a boat and we're going to go out there. I've done some prep work ahead of time. This is my inventory. I got myself some fence. I'll explain why in a second. I've got an oak door. I've got some sticks. I've got a stack of planks, stack two, two stacks of cobblestones, all the stakes I could find that I had, a fishing rod so I can get some more uh, fish and whatever else I might need. I just narrowed it down here to the bare minimum on the tools, and I've got a boat. So, you might be wondering, why in the world is he carrying around fence posts? Well, if I want to create a window like right over here, and I want to keep things from coming in and attacking me, a fence post is the way to go, because I figure we'll have to use the planks or the cobblestone to build temporary hovels where we can live through the night, and then we've got a bed so we can go to sleep and then proceed along as planned. First, though, I need to record where I am here with a screenshot on the uh, coordinates. I don't have a compass or anything at the moment, so I can find my way back here again. Okay, so let's head on out and see what we see, and I'm pressing the wrong button. All right, I think it's daytime. I hope it's still daytime. I've done a little bit of tentative exploring, um, but I didn't do a lot. Here, take a look. So this is new. We've got this curtain of water flowing down here from somewhere. I don't think the entire area down there is underwater. Uh, I think it's just a curtain here. Then this over here, there's some water coming down here. This over here seems a little different. I think I see some daylight over there that wasn't there before. And then if we are to go over this way... I'll show you the biggest difference that happened after I deleted the chunks and reloaded the world and had it regenerate with Minecraft 1.18.6 terminology here, or rules or whatever you want to call it. The biggest change as far as I know, because I'm pretty sure it's a drastic change from what it was. I don't recall there being as much hills over that way. Everything here looks similar until you get over here. And that kind of gave me direction and impetus for today's episode. Because if you look over here, there's a sea. <laughs> there's a giant opening, and I don't believe that was there before. But let me know if I'm wrong. Let's hit our boat in the water and uh, head on out there and see what we can find. On the way, as we're looking for villages, we are going to be looking for iron. And of course, we are doing 100 days survival, so the goal here is to try to survive here and not die. So we'll see how well I accomplish that or not. So let me know if you see anything. Let's uh, go into a different camera view here. This is more fun. And you might hear me slurping on my coffee occasionally. I do have a cup of coffee next to me. I've just had my first meal of the day, and I'm having my cup of coffee for the day. Let's check out this first island that we have right here and see what's on it. This is interesting, trying to do all of these camera angles. This mountain will be our next goal to go up to the top of. I have not been to the top of it, but I did go up near it. I went up near it because I wanted to see what was going on with, uh, you know, how to climb up and everything else. And I did see that it had a uh, one of those nether portals up there and a pillager outpost. And I'll try and show that to you guys later. But that was not germane to the conversation for today. This is a very strange island. It looks like it just continues along here. And then we hit some beach. I see something over there. So let's skirt around this and see what that is. I'd like to get pretty far afield this first day if I can. Let's uh, grab some of this coal on our way out.
I hereby dub this place Coal Island. For obvious reasons. Let's not grab any more. Let's get going on this adventure and see what's over there. That should be enough to get me going. And I got an extra little bit of cobble if I need it. Now I do have a confession to make. I have died once. Wow, that looks really weird with my cape. Um, between uh, filming this episode and getting the prep work done, I was jumping off a cliff into the water, I thought, and of course, that doesn't work too well. I usually end up hitting on the edge of something at the bottom, even though it looked like a pretty straight up and down cliff, and I did end up hitting the edge and dying and it sucked but that is not on camera but it is let you guys know because you're wondering trying to keep uh keep it all opened up here for you see lots of terrain i see no villages and we've got a choice to make about whether we want to try to continue cruising along at night and we even see and whether or not we want to not do that i don't know we can build a structure real quick and go hiding we can throw ourselves into a cave i think i want to keep going along the side here as long as i can see halfway decently got another island over here it looks like we're near a cold ocean i think i'm seeing snow unless that's clay You guys see in the screen okay from where you are? I have the torches out, but I don't know if it helps the visibility at all or not. I'll try to fast forward to the boring bits, but figured you want to be a part of this adventure with me. But I have to admit, going along a boat, trying to find some other place to uh, reside or some other place for resources or trying to find a village or whatever, just the boat travel itself can be kind of boring, I assume almost worth risking to try to get a piece just to see what we have here. Oh, that's sand. Can't see the uh, color or the, yeah, the color very well in the dark. I believe we have found a jungle biome. That's the first time I have found one without using any sort of flying or commands or creative mode. I found it just on my own. Just cruising along. And there is a lot of bamboo there. I mean, a lot of it. Ah, we have some drowned dead. I hope they can't affect my boat. Not normally scared of being in the water, but those drowned dead kind of freak me out, man. I don't know what will happen if they attack my boat. Okay, this is something else we're going to have to note. That is the first time I have found one of those guys. I'm not challenging them right now, but that's one of those uh, special underwater temple things. I've never seen one of those before in my own normal gameplay of survival mode. And that's my first one of 118 for sure. But I don't think I've ever even seen them even in my plain creative mode. I think the baddie that was chasing me got nuked by something because I heard a big explosion. to say that it's a very beautiful world that I have here. Good daylight. We can get up here onto this thing and explore it. 
Oh great. More of my Uncle Freddy floating around down there. Hey Freddy, how was that man? Come on up. Sun's coming out. I'm willing to fight you. What's up here on the top of this hill? Is that what's driven every explorer in the history of mankind, I wonder? I hereby dub this island Sheep Island. Let's head across the water and see. Never get my fingers quite in the right position on that. What's over here? And this time we got to take the boat with me so that we can easily grab it anytime we want. Come on, boat. So this is where I was thinking we might find ourselves a village, and I guess we'll see in a minute. Some floating terrain. Very broken, very, very broken looking terrain around here. More coal that we're not going to get this time. I don't think villages will be in a big, huge area of lots of birch. If I can get to the top of this high point, maybe I can look around a little better and see what's around me. Okay, let's increase the view distance. That will help a little bit. Lacking a zoom button, I cannot see. And we're going to have to eat here pretty soon. I don't think I'm going to do much more looking around this area. I believe this is just going to be a big birch forest. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever found a village in the middle of a birch forest. And it's not just birch, it looks like. Regular woodland as well. Ah, we have pumpkins. We need these. Can't make an iron golem without a pumpkin. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pass. I'm wasting my energy here, and I'm going to need to eat here pretty soon. And time's running out. So, going to get back in the water and see what else we have around here. I'm looking for a village closer to the water. If it's way out in the woods, that's great. It's nice to know there's a village out there, but I don't really have the time to go doing that. If there's anything you guys want me to come back to, explore, or check out, let me know. I'll do a real quick screenshot. So I now have the coordinates, but we are moving on. Have you ever found a village under the water? Let me know in the comments below. I always wonder what that would look like if a village spawned somehow underneath the water, but they probably have coating in place to keep that from happening. I think that's just a tree. Is that a boat or a tree? And I see something over there in the water too. Well, let's go find out what all this stuff is. I think we've got a boat, folks. I don't know how safe it would be to try to get to it. Risky, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna drown. 
Not enough water down there for me, or air down there. No bad guys coming to get me. Oh shoot, there's bad guys. Okay, we won't risk that. I'll just mark the coordinates. Darn bad guys. I could use the door trick, but I can't fight a bunch of those drowned dead at the same time I'm trying to explore shipwreck. Not gonna work. How about this one? Is this one infested as well? I think we got two over here. And how do you tell? I mean, I don't see them out right off the bat when I come over here, but I'm sure it's infested. Let's take a look. not seeing any drowned dead around this one. Let's get my door out. That will make it easier to survive down here. Okay, so we failed. We died on our 100 day challenge, of course. We did not set rules that we could not die for that, so we're still gonna continue through the 100 days. We're learning, we're figuring out that, uh, yeah, I can be smart and have the door trick, but it doesn't do you any good if you try to rush and get everything out of a chest. I need to find a better way of doing it. I don't know if I can find my way back. I'm gonna stop recording and uh, try to work my way back and resume recording if I'm able to do so. Okay, so we are returning to where we died. Let's see if we can get my stuff. I see a mast here, and then there'll be a, should be a, another one not far unless this is the one. There's my boat. Let's hope I can get my stuff and nothing is going to be in my way to get it. Ah, I see where it is. I get it. Okay. I know what I have to do to get it. Hard in my chest, hard in my chest, hard in my chest. All right, let's grab this door and see if we have everything. I don't want to sit around too long where the baddies could show up in the pumpkin. So we're still missing a few things, but not much. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get the rest of it now. Oh, 
I see nothing else down here. I could be wrong. Let me put my torch on. Do torches work underwater? I don't even, oh, I don't even have my torches. Well, that's part of the problem then, isn't it? I heard some scary noise. So we somehow lost all of my torches. Not a big deal. I can easily replace those. And I lost a stack of cobblestone. I don't know if it just despawned or what happened. So things are not going to plan around here. I see something flying or floating over there, unless that's stars. Oh, we're moving on to see if we can find a village, find some sheep, get everything put back together in my inventory here. I see something over here, but I don't know what it is. It looks as if we have found another ruined nether portal? Or is this something else? Well, there's no chest. Plenty of bad guys, though. More down... Oh, I see one down there. Okay, so there'll be a chest down there, too. I don't want to risk it right now. No sign of any village. I love the dolphins in this. What about you guys? What do you think of the dolphins? I think they're cool. When I came out and... Uh, started working my way back, I had to go, remember how we turned kind of to the uh, left, I believe it was? Well, I had to turn to the right because we had actually made a big circle and gone pretty far around everything. Is this the other, is this another shipwreck? Boy, there's a lot of these out here. <laughs> Must be a bad place to be a sailor. Unless that's the same one and we're going in circles tonight, which is possible because I am kind of out of it, but I don't think so because I don't recall this island here with this solitary tree and some sea turtles. All kinds of interesting things out here to explore, but still no village. Am I seeing lights up there or am I blind on top of being everything else? That looks lit to me. Let me go into the other viewpoint. Am I seeing things? Am I looking at where I've been working or am I looking at something? Well, okay, let's risk coming out, I guess. Let's get my sword out. We're gonna probably die again. But, I gotta know. I swear I'm seeing light here. Lava. Interesting. Not a village. Sun's coming up. I think I've had my fill of exploring shipwrecks right now. Got a desert biome, and there might be a village in the desert biome. I always seem to have... Really good luck finding villages in desert biomes, so let's explore this when the sun gets up. Hey, I found some iron. Of course, I already got a big bunch of iron from that shipwreck. Is my Uncle Fred going to come after me? No, but somebody else wants to. Any other takers? See if we can grab this uh, stuff real quick. Pickaxe is about ready to die, and that is it on my... Ooh, I don't have any more pickaxes. Okay, well, simple enough 
problem to solve, let's get up here and put up a workbench really quick right here. Somewhere kind of defensible, hopefully. And uh, really quickly, we will put up one of these bad boys. Put a little bit of coal in there and start nuking that. And while that's working, we will make two iron pickaxes. Sounds like a reasonable plan to me. Iron pickaxe will eat through this quick. And that should give us enough to make myself an iron chest plate and survive three more seconds. I look really strange, but you know what? I ain't complaining. Okay, let's look for some sheep because I gotta get myself a bed and then uh, we can continue on our little adventure. A little bit of extra meat never hurt anybody. Come on, stop running around. Take your lumps. So what do you guys think of our little adventure so far? Are you enjoying yourselves? I hope I'm keeping this interesting in how I edit it. Striking out. I guess I have to weigh the pros and cons of that shipwreck if I actually gained anything by my uh, adventure there because I think I lost more than I gained. I don't know. What do you guys think? Was that a loss or a gain getting into that? Thing. I think I uh, can consider it a gain in the sense that I learned a little better how to handle a shipwreck. I understand now that they have that set up to be kind of a trap. That if you try to go underneath it like I did, it's to get you stuck so you panic and drown. Here, sheep, 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 sheep. I know you're around here somewhere. Need to go to bed, man. I need some sheep. I'm not seeing anything, just bees. That's the structure I was talking about. Let's run over there and see what we have. Ah. One lonely sheep. Sorry, sheep. All right, we're probably going to die, but let's get out here and... Check out what's going on in this area. I've got a zombie villager which tells me there might be a village nearby. I don't want to save him and try to convert him, I'm just going to kill the guy. Not seeing a temple, but that means there's a village around here because that villager wouldn't be here unless there was a village somewhere nearby, as far as I know. What do you guys think? Is my logic sound there? But I don't know if I can survive the night. I'm being visited by a dog. Hello, Miss Miss. Can't pet you, I'm right in the middle of recording right now.
Ah, we got a sneak attack. Oh my goodness. Well, I found a village full of zombies. that situation I see a little scrap of land over here I can maybe put a chest on before I get killed yeah there's nobody around here to bother me except maybe the undead floating around out there might as well cook up this meat. That'll make my life a little easier. We will throw up on this point of land this chest with some scrap items in it. So it'll be there for me if I ever see it again later. We'll put the jungle planks in there because they're not much use just by themselves. We'll put this in there. These eggs. Seeds, of course. Zombie flesh. Can't do much with that. I want the pumpkins. I don't need the sand. I need the wool. Ugh. Okay, the rest of my larder is going to just have to be raw for now because I have no more way to cook it. All right, so let's do a really good explore of this island over here and see if there's a village somewhere that that villager came from and then we'll wrap up this uh, video. I think we're on day 20 something. I see something that does not look like a tree. It doesn't look like a hill. I can't tell what it is exactly, but I think we might have had some success if it's what I think it is. <laughs> we did it. What a way to end this episode. We did it. We found a village. Let's go ahead and record the coordinates, get my boat, and go exploring. We will mark this with some torches right here. Very odd piece of terrain out here. Beautiful white horse. Not a very good placement for this village at all. And it is alive. Good. That's good. So as near as I can tell, this is about 800 blocks in the X direction from my base. So everything else is about lined up with where my base is, but it's 800 blocks in the X direction. So the question is, should I be stupid and try to go 800 blocks overland in that direction? I have to find a bed first. I don't want to take one of these villagers' beds because they need them. But I will rob their chests. Looks like we have an archer. Two baby villagers. Uh. Uh. 
We have an alchemy stand. That's very valuable to me. But I don't want to take it this time. Oh, that's even better. If I don't die. Gotta love these chests here. Oh man, a fortune three pickaxe? That's not bad at all. Uh, fortune two on the shovel. Shoot, I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff in here. We'll leave the obsidian in case we ever decide to fix that. I guess we'll leave that too. Curse of Binding, yeah, we'll leave the helmet. That won't do me any good. But a Fortune 3 pickaxe is nothing to sneer at. That's that's nice. That's worth coming over here just for that. I've never even had an enchanted pickaxe of any kind. Stone cutter, that's good. I hear cats, so that's good. Now I need some food and this bread is of more value to me than that. And even the potatoes, because I don't know if I can grow them over where I am. Okay, now dark and we need to find either a free bed or we need to just hide or something. They don't have an iron golem out here, so. Oh, they do have one, good. Now the question is, can I find an unoccupied bed to jump into for the night? Get this to go by quicker. You know what, villager, I'm sorry, I'm gonna steal your bed from you. Oh, great. I'll have to wait. I think the best bet is for me to determine once again which direction I need to go and to head there and just find my overland path. So we're going to do that now. We're full up on the inventory. We need to know how to get back here. Maybe we'll lay some torches on the way. So let's go ahead and do that and wrap up this video. Hey folks, this is the way we go. Straight ahead. Let's rip it. We have got to get home, dump out the stuff, and establish a path back here to this uh, village. You guys recognize this place? I recognize it. I know where I am. Not a problem. This slobby path of mine. I'm going to make a better path later. Maybe even a rail system. I don't know. That's a bit of a way to go. But if I follow it by the shore now that I know where to go, let's put some uh, torches 
close to the shoreline so I know which way to go. I'll put a big one right here. Which tells me that there's probably a village even closer to where I spawned than that. But I believe my base is right up in here somewhere. And I believe I can place a torch down here. I think I know right where I am, but I'm not. Yep, there it is. I see a structure, and I know that's part of my home structure. I know where I am. It's actually not far from where I died trying to do all the prep work for this episode. This is sweet. Got a few extra items I don't currently need. I don't know what I'm going to deal with, but here we go. Here's home. Well, folks, we did it. We made it back home. We made it to a village. We accomplished the goal of this episode. We are on day... Oh, I can't read it. 23 of my 100-day survival challenge, and I have died three times, if I remember correctly. If there's a way to count deaths, I will give you a more accurate count. I'll look that up for the next episode. Um, I think I'd like to establish a path I don't know if I want to do it via the waterway or if I want to do an overland path to the village. I have to think about that. Uh, but that will be something for the next episode. I want to establish something with that village, but there should be one closer to where I'm currently standing. So we'll have to see. Um, maybe the mountain would be a good place to start next. I think that there is another, another portal. We should explore that and see what's in there. Awesome that we got a Fortune 3 pickaxe. I'm going to use that next time I find a diamond block or any kind of valuable materials. Anyway, I'm going to unload now, and we'll call that to this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one, and uh, let me know what you thought. Later.